All right, how's it going, everyone? We have uh, just the last few games for the new vector to get it gold. So I'm going to be attempting to do that this game. Uh, I've got to get two three-piece kill streaks, uh, very last camo, before you get gold. Uh, and then I'll have it uh, unlocked. So we're just going to try and do that real quick. And then I'll show you guys a little bit of gameplay with the vector gold. I got out of here. Alright, that's one three piece. So we need one more three piece. Rounds in cover. UAV on stage. Friendly recons online. UAV entering the AO. We've lost the lead. How did that guy know I was there? I guess he saw me on the- I don't know. Man. I go through ammo like a champ with this gun. Using the big magazine and everything. Uh, I think I just unlocked gold, and I'm not really sure why, because I did, definitely did not get a three kill streak there, but. You know, whatever. Yeah, weird. Kill three enemies without dying. But, like, I didn't get a three piece streak there, I don't think, at least. Anyways, that's gold. That's what that little guy looks like. Obviously, I don't have these other ones unlocked yet. Uh, I probably won't be doing Damascus. That's a little bit too much time uh, for me. So, But gold's pretty neat. Uh, I'll go ahead and run it through a game of the 24-7 Scrapyard. Just give you guys a chance to take a look at it. Team deathmatch. Enemy incoming. Man, this looks enemy. pretty slick. I think it looks pretty good in gold. So generally speaking, uh, the com the camos for the SMGs are like pretty easy to get. Um, the one exception being the long shot kills. Long shots are a little bit difficult to get with this gun. Um, just because of the range on it and the rate of fire, it's hard to maintain the recoil and also shoot at long distances. Um, um, but what I decided to do for the long shot kills, in case you're curious, is uh, take the gun to hardcore and then... Uh, I actually use the 12 round magazine, the uh, 45 caliber um, two round burst magazine, and uh, that worked out pretty well. Those guys are pretty strong. You can pretty safely uh, get some long shot kills that way. UAV 
is out of fuel. Returning to resupply. Enemy UAV overhead. I've had some pretty insane games with this. For the most part, the uh, the biggest hinge, uh, hindering factor about this gun is just going to be the ammo capacity. Like you, I find that you're constantly reloading, and even when you use sleight of hand on it, for example, um, you really still just like take a little bit too long to reload the gun. Otherwise, this thing's absurd. You're just always winning close range fights. Mid-range fights, however, not always. For example, right there, we uh, we definitely got outgunned by that growl. Enemy precision airstrike, get down! Enemy cruise missile! Okay, walked right into that one. Threw that stun grenade and my opponent and my uh, teammate shut the door right as soon as I threw it and it hit the door and came back at me. I didn't see him, he was standing on the edge there. People like to uh, camp this building out here. And it's honestly one of the more awkward buildings to approach because... If you don't know exactly where they are, you spend a lot of time just searching for them, and they have the height advantage on you. Should have uh, just tossed the grenade and tried to shoot that guy. Oh. The only thing that outguns me there is probably another Fector. Or like a shotgun, maybe. Yup. Personally, I've noticed that most of my kills uh, tend to be hip fire kills um, with this gun, which I think is uh, pretty reasonable to do with this kind of a gun. dance with that guy for two minutes. Allied counter UAV activated. Enemy at the container. I'm taking fire! Yeah, there's still somebody in there. For a second I thought, you know, maybe that was the last guy and we sort of cleared that building out, but... Oh, okay. Focus. Enemy UAV overhead. There's definitely still people in there. Or at least one. You don't think you don't have to approach it obviously. It's just awkward just like leaving the snipers in the map across the stage. Enemy personal radar overhead. Forget the score. Enemy at the center. Yeah. 
we're gonna end up losing that game. That's okay though. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, gold vector content. If you guys did, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in another video.